Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can turn this one into a treat. Yeah, Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah, right. It's Christmas today, folks, you probably guessed. Even though I haven't got any, I've only got one item today that I'm that's Christmassy. But I've actually decided to save all the Christmas stuff for Christmas Eve, when it's a real hype, and there's a lot of hype going on. Okay, let's see what we have for this one. We have here, New Dawn. So that would be, I thought it was called, it would be a conspiracy theory, but it's more like a mind-bending magazine. I think we'll call it a mind-bending magazine. I don't think it's quite a conspiracy theory. I've got my terminology a little bit muddled, I do think. So we're just going to put that head up here make it really nice a lot of interesting ideas I guess yeah that's a real mind bender you could call it uh, I actually think maybe I could cut it off here I don't know what to do with this I like that to some extent and I like the way we got the word mind bend uh, I do wonder I'm gonna stretch it maybe on the horizontal okay But yeah, I really find Santa Claus really in bad taste. I do think he's a real, what's the word? He is overrated and he really isn't real. So why do people want to peddle his bullshit to the children? Because children are innocent and they believe almost anything that an adult can throw at them. And it just does not seem at all fair that adults often like to tell little fibbies to their children. I was told Santa Claus when I was a kid and I got teased and bullied when I was 10 years old because I still thought Santa was real. And Dad was, Dad the stupid idiot, didn't tell me otherwise and it was too fucking late and it was really embarrassing. So Santa Claus has a bit of a track record against me or I've got and basically I don't want to encourage this the popular popular culture of Santa Claus Anyway, that's come up looking quite interesting. Uh, I still don't like it. Um, I actually wonder whether I should do another one. I'm just going to do another one, folks. This may not isn't totally satisfactory, so we're just going to pull this off the recycle pile, and we're just going to put it on the glass like so. But I'm really missing a lost loved one, and I'm trying to get in touch with him. His name is uh, Luigi, and I'm trying to get this stuff to go to air on the six o'clock news. And it's really proven to be really difficult 
trying to pedal this stuff to the news channels. All the major free-to-air channels. And that's come up looking quite interesting, but not quite, again, what I'm after. But I really miss Luigi, and it really, you could say it's a bit of a mind-bender being isolated from someone that you love and it really hurts it's a painful mind bender it really is folks it really hurts to hurts your head you get depressed you get anxiety you know you get really unhappy it's really bad loneliness is it they say loneliness is a killer that it actually shortens your lifespan it's not healthy and these TV channels are just allowing me to be lonely for a lot longer than I'd like to be and a lot longer than I am supposed to be healthy wise it's really unhealthy and they don't seem to get it that they're killing me by not allowing me to go to air I know that sounds a bit dramatic folks but I do need this person He's the prize that I'm after at the end of these videos that I make. I need to get in touch. I'm going to do it a bit slower this time. Yeah, that's not what I want. We seem to be not getting what we want. That looks really quite interesting. Uh, just wondering if we're going to use it or whether we're going to use another one. We're going to try another one. But it really is a mind bender being away from someone you love. It really hurts your mind. It really injures it. It's soul destroying. Loneliness could be considered in some respects as soul destroying. Extremely destructive. It is, it's destructive. No one seems to know. Look it up on Google. Google it. Is loneliness deadly? You'll, you'll be surprised what you'll get on Google regarding that. Is loneliness deadly? Now that looks really quite what we want, I think. We've got that there, we've got that there. And we've got a nice shape, so we're going to use this. But I really miss my partner and it really hurts to to be alone and it kills makes me sick I get sick I get anxious I really get anxious and I feel ill don't feel happy not happy Jan is you could say when it comes to the handling of my case on television is I'm not happy I am fucking not happy You get these videos for free and yet you don't fucking want to show them. Go fuck yourselves. But you got to show them, folks. Because I need to get in touch with this person in order to have a future. Otherwise, I'm going to be lonely. And loneliness, as I said, folks, is deadly. It's fucking deadly. It's not to be taken lightly. I'm going to darken it a bit. It's not to be taken lightly, folks. Sorry if I got a bit rude TV channels, whoever you are, whatever channel you are. I just get really exasperated. I get frustrated that I can't get in touch with my partner, that I have to be alone more than I'd like to be. And it's Christmas and I haven't got any real reason to celebrate the Christmas day. feel like it's a bar humbug existence. Though demoing gives me something to do during this boring public holiday. And it is, it's just a public holiday to me. To me it's a public holiday that I find just another public holiday. Another so-called celebration day that I'm not observing because I'm alone. I'm not with my partner.
I can't celebrate without him. I can't. I'm lonely. How can I celebrate when I'm lonely, folks? Who cares about all this hoopla and celebration when there is no one here to share it with? Don't you fucks know what it's like to be lonely? Don't you have it? Haven't you ever had a time when you weren't married or you in a family situation that wasn't so flash, that was a bit dysfunctional? Don't you know what loneliness is like? Or have you had it good for too long and you've forgotten what loneliness is? Or you've never experienced it? Well, good on you. Slow clap for you folks who've never experienced loneliness. I've been lonely in some way, shape or form since I was a little child, folks. So don't fucking... Oh, what, what can I say, folks? The TV channels are really not helping to solve this problem. I really wish they would pull their fingers out and do something. But anyway, let's just get put on a happy face. Folks, okay, it's Christmas. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. We'll just show you my artwork. Yeah, that looks really quite interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.